going to, but the angel had to come to him and assure him that this was of the Holy Ghost. Yes. Oh, glory to God. But that mother, when she had this child, she knew that she was having a great child. His life and his plan already was planned it out for him. We with our children, the lives and things are not planned out. But God had a plan for this one. Oh, glory to God. And this man grew up to be great. This was God's man. And this man is the one you have to put your trust in. Many of people saying that Jesus is God. Don't let that devil put that in your mind. This was a man born by a woman. When Solomon built the temple and one of God and said that, God said, even the heavens and the heavens can't hold me. So how do you think a, a woman gonna hold it in their womb? Oh, glory to God. And because they see this, Emmanuel, that means God's a witness, they say that that's God. Come on. Oh, no, it ain't. Oh, no, it's not. This was the chosen man of God. And after he had chosen him and raised him, he brought forth and he chose you. Why before the foundation of the world? Do you know you've been chosen? Jesus told Paul, said, while you were in your mother's womb, I sanctified you. <clears throat> so many people running out and saying that Jesus is God when they don't know what they're talking about and not on the day they're calling God a liar. God said, this is my beloved son and whom I'm well pleased. And all through the years, God had blessed him. All through the years, he had blessed his mother. This mother stuck by Jesus, saved as the mothers today. This day was set aside for the mothers. But it ain't just a day. Every day is Mother's Day. Every day may not be a Father's Day, but every day is a Mother's Day. When that man running in the street, that mother's right there with her child. When he doesn't spend all the money, didn't bring it home, she'll go to that wedding bed for some money. My mother went to the store and said, can I please get a credit so I can get some money? And God bless her. They give her a little something to bring home. Many of people don't even think about it. What they go through. But you have to put your trust in that man. Because when the wind starts blowing, you've got to put your trust in this man. When the storm starts roaring, you've got to put your trust in this man. Things are coming to a close, things are getting bad. Even America talking about going against Israel now. And it was the only friend that Israel had. And the scripture said, when you see the signs of the time, oh, good and go. Make sure you're ready. Mothers, make sure you're ready for this last step you have to make. Mothers that came through some great things. They have came through some hard times. I know my wife is a baby beside my child, and I'm telling you, she, the baby gets to say, uh, she wake up. I just be about to die. <laughs> she don't budge. 
<laughs> Is that the truth? The instinct of a mother. That's the truth. And she know her child. She know her child's voice. They can be in a crowd. And when that child cries, how do so and so cry? How do you tell you cry all this noise and all the food? Honey, I'm telling you, she's crying something wrong. That mother, the hardship and time that they came through with their child, the sickness. They ain't gonna be in that hospital. I ain't going nowhere. That's the only time they forget about the bills and everything. They're right there. I got to see about my child. It's a many thing that the women went through, the mothers went through, that don't you know? The men didn't even know nothing about it. Many times they came home, found groceries in the refrigerator. Don't know how they got there. She didn't have no car, nothing. The next time you see a woman walking down the street telling you groceries, think about it. I've seen the men that came two bags, and they will walk a little bit and set it down, and rest a little bit, pick it up and walk again. Trying to get something home to this child. Is that right? Then not only a mother to the children, and I know these men might get mad when I say this, a lot of times they're a mother to the husband. Do y'all believe that? A lot of times they're the whole husband in their book. Pet him, comfort him, counsel him. So when they come here and the Lord bless them to teach, and preach and to help people, they already had it in. God just brought it out. And that man better listen to her too. If she's a good woman. The old people say any man that don't listen to his wife, he got a good wife, he'll never be nothing. And he'll never have nothing. A mother. A day set by, set by aside for Mother's Day. But every day is Mother's Day. I'm not rich, I don't have much. But my wife won't even ask me for certain things, because she know I'm gonna, I'm gonna go out there some kind of way and get it. Because when I come home, my food is ready. The house is clean. She takes care of the children. Even some of the grandchildren, she homeschooled. A mother would do that. I said, honey, you can't take care of these kids today. She tried to keep them babies and things. When she go downstairs, they're upstairs. She go upstairs, she's downstairs. When I come home, she was so tired. I said, honey, you can't keep them children today. But that mother, that grandmother, still grabbing teeth in the way. A mother, more so, would give their life. A father, puff up now. We the dominant one. We'll go out there and we'll fight. We'll spread our little muscles and everything, thinking that we something. But that mother, I think we'll go close to a, 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 a bear cub, a, a mother's cub. That big one you might get away from, that mother, she will rip you apart. Even the male bear. There's a story in the Bible. These two women had babies. 
And one of them baby died, but he didn't live. So she stole the other one's baby. And they took him to the king, Solomon, yes. and told him what happened. Mm -hmm. And the wisdom that God gave Solomon, because right. I tell you what, mm -hmm. he told the God, take your sword and cut it in half, cut the baby in half, and give one to this side woman, and give the other half to that woman. And when he went to come down with the sword, the woman, the mother, throw herself over the baby. Solomon said, give that woman her child. <laughs> because he knew a mother will give up everything for her child. Yes. Back in the days, I praised the mothers. Especially the grandmothers. They had me in church. They had me in front of the Lord. A lot of people won't complain their children to church no more. They don't even tell their children about church. But I'm standing here today because of my grandmother taking me to church. Yes, it is. A lot of the children don't know nothing about the Lord now. That's why they are there cutting up. There's no fear. But when you keep the children in the, in the church and they grow up in the church, I see some of my brother's children coming home. A lot of them came back that time. They may run out there, but they got it in them. And once you come in contact with Jesus, believe me, you will never forget it. There's something about that name, Jesus. Yes. That man will be there when no one's there. Right. When you win that night and you're shaking your husband and you're trying to wake him and he don't want to wake up, leave me alone, Jesus is there. <clears throat> When you have this problem and nobody can understand, Jesus is there. Yes. Oh, glory to God. Yes. You ain't got to worry about nobody taking something from you. You ain't got to worry about nobody taking you through something. You ain't got to worry about nobody bothering you and bugging you and worrying you. This man will be there for you. This man God told him, this is my beloved son, and who I am well pleased. Jesus said, I will never leave you, nor forsake you. And it's a many nights, many days you go through things, and you think he's not there. Then all of a sudden, you see things coming through. He let you know that he's there. He will never leave you nor forsake you. I ain't never seen a saint go home. I've never seen a saint without nothing. When I came back to church, thank you, Jesus, was I the only drug? And you know when you're on the drug, you don't you spend it all. Came back to didn't have anything. Went and carried and everything, and I was doing good and I was busy. Help me. Give me a little place over there across the street there, across the park there. Didn't have no food, didn't have anything. So he came in and brought me a big plate. I said, what? They had a dinner. And Sister Barry, did she know when somebody ain't got that? She fixed your big bag. <laughs> she fixed me a big bag of chicken. 
potatoes, greens, and whatever. See, when you're out there, I'll tell you, you don't know nothing about that. Because you don't see it no more unless you go by one of your people's house. And because you're doing so bad, you don't want to go back because you're looking bad. I married my wife and I fell in love with her delivering rice. She fell in love with brought me a little bowl of delivering rice, the best rice I've ever, ever tasted. God will never leave you alone. And the way he come to you is through his son, Jesus Christ. Amen. You can holler, God, God, all you want to. If you don't go through this man, if you don't go through Jesus, you ain't doing nothing hard. You got to go through Jesus. He told Peter the night he transferred the figure eight. At the Bible, say, This is my beloved son, who I'm well pleased. Hear ye him. He didn't say, Hear me. He said, Hear ye him. You can be out there shouting all you want to. You can be out there doing all the things you want. A lot of them dress good, looking good. Church is full. Everybody doing good. You ain't doing nothing giving that man all your money. And you walk around, some of them get so much money, when they get out, their bills are messed up. They got to go bar and get their bills paid. He rides around in a jet. Big limousine. Some of them got some of the biggest and the most beautiful mansions you ever want to see. And they're telling you that Jesus is God. Jesus is the answer for the world today. If you want to go anywhere, go through this way. Repent. That's what the scripture says. Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus for the remission of your sins. Your mother's here, been baptized, and filled with the Holy Ghost. They already, it's not just my children, they're everybody's children. And they'll tell you that. Mothers, don't forget God. Whatever you do, don't forget God. Bring them to Sunday school. If you can't bring them, let me know we'll pick them up. And bring them back home safe to you. Teach them about God. Not the internet. I know all of them got phone. Now they buying them even a little baby, they're buying them a cell phone. And guess what? Them little babies know how to use it too. I mean it's just in there, let me built in them or something, because they didn't show them how to find you that little baby and everybody here. And they do all kinds of stuff on the cell phone. The world is turning to technology and they have to keep up with it. I understand that. But don't forget God. Whatever you do, don't forget that man. That's the one will take you through. That's the one will get you there. That's the one will help you be safe and overlook your family. Glory to God. So for the mothers today, I love and I take my hat off to you. And I take my hat off to the children. That I see come to church and support their mother. God bless you.
I pray that you come to church. But even if you don't, I thank the Lord for you. Because some of them I see every Mother's Day. Be right beside their mother. You know there's a many people don't have their children. They in the street ain't think about their mom. But you thank you. I thank the Lord for you and we are praying for you great. So y'all keep an open mind. Let the folks know. Jesus said, if I be lifted up, I draw all men unto me. Lift this name up in these last and evil days. Let people know that he's the son of the living God. Glory. He's the one who will help that man. Y'all pray for me, Jesus.
have a right to be treated like that. Today is Mother's Day. There was a girl years ago. Her mother was doing things for people in the community. And she decided to give her a formula. Her last name was Jarvis. And then she was doing that. They turned it into Mother's Day. President Wilson made a national holiday. Mothers are so important to guide and help the family. They say the mother is the heart of the family. You know what? When we lay down, we don't lay down and don't think about you. We're laying there trying to figure out how can I help my child? How can I get a piece of bread for that one? How can I stand in after that one? Somebody needs to know today, mother's your special. And they're going to call you all up. But Jesus, Mother, Mary, stood at that cross. Saw how they beat a child. But it was for us. Because the Lord laid on him. The iniquity of us all. We don't have to go that way. We don't have to go that way. Preacher, preach. What, what, what a man. It's amazing. Because you know what? Did we deserve to be here today? No. In all that we were doing in life, we still didn't have a right to live to your life until Jesus came along. When Jesus came, he opened up the way for us. So today is short day, right day. Today is Mother's Day. It's so important that mothers all around the world should be celebrated. Because she's the one that went to the hungry. She's the one that said, I will lie in that outfit today because my child my husband, he's sick. Right and you know what? I believe that no matter what come or go, when our kids get in trouble, do you think that they're thinking about not to deal with lovely daddy? But the first thing that comes to their mind is my mom. My mom. Because she stood there. She first. And God bless. So today, it's your name. And you have a right to come up here. No, you ain't got to be safe. You got to be ready for your home, for your family, for your oh, I love my grandkids. Do you love your grandkids? I enjoy them more than I did my kids. I'm raising them. Love mission. But today, mama, grandma, a surrogate mama, whoever you are, it's your day. To help somebody, raise somebody. So at this time, if anybody want to go down in Jesus' name, you come up here, just let the preacher go. I need Jesus a little more. She said, I need a little more Jesus. Oh, yeah. Our kids are facing some hard things. So at this time, we're going to ask all, all the mothers, John Paul, all the mothers, in your sure name, Jesus' name, and let this day come forth so the mothers can be blessed. Just like Jesus said, bring them to me. Bring them mothers. Bring them mothers. Because some kids are in trouble today. Some child is in jail today. Somebody don't know where their child is. But they know Jesus knows. Jesus knows that he will do for them what he's done for me. It's your day, mothers. Come on, mom. Come on. Come on. Amen. No matter what it is, uh, somebody said, you know what? My child cursed me out last night. It was the devil. It's not that they don't love me, but when the devil's in control, but guess what? God got plans in your life. All of you that are up here from heaven come to Jesus, it's your day. To accept that plan. Yes, God. We should not pass it.